Hi everyone, Andrew here. みなさんこんにちは。日系カナダ人のアンドリューです。Today, I'd like to introduce you to Japan's first Kimpton Hotel, located in the heart of Shinjuku. Kimpton is the first boutique hotel and restaurant company in the US and opened its first hotel in San Francisco over 30 years ago. Kimpton Hotel is an IHG Group hotel, which include brands such as the Intercontinental Hotel, Crown Plaza, and Holiday Inn. Living up to its reputation, Kimpton Shinjuku has a boutique hotel vibe. The decor is stylish and unique, with eye catching paintings and design. Kimpton is a pet friendly hotel, and it looks like they're welcoming a few guests today. There's also an entrance from the garage, and the staff are quick to greet you from this side of the stylish entrance. Even the elevator interior design is beautiful, and it helps with making their guests feel relaxed and at home. I was given a corner room on the 12th floor, and upon entry, The room gives a clean and simple, yet elegant and luxurious feel. The room isn't too large, but is well laid out. The bed is ultra comfy. The side lamps are simple yet elegant, and the shades incorporate a Japanese Zen feel. The love seat is comfortable, the table is gorgeous to look at. However, The protrusion of the wood base right in the middle of it makes it a bit challenging to put your laptop or other items on it. There is no work desk in the rooms here, by the way. All amenities you can ask for are here kettle, tea, coffee, glasses, and even bar items such as alcohol and snacks are there for your enjoyment. The closet has both Western and Japanese robes, or a yukata as we call it. The yukata is a simple design and I really enjoyed wearing it. However, I do wish they had a quick and simple direction on how to tie the obi or the belt band. As a Spire Ambassador member, I was given a gift of nuts and candies as well as a handwritten note. Which is always appreciated. The washroom sink gives a zen like feel with the use of plants, stone, and wood. And I was excited to see that they offer both a shower and a bathtub. After settling into my room, I headed downstairs to their restaurant, District, to meet up with my good friend Kaori. For afternoon tea. We were served a delicious glass of ice cream tea upon arrival. The table setting was also unique and beautifully arranged. The menu offered an extensive selection of coffee as well as teas from India, Taiwan, and Japan. The food selection was also impressive, both from a visual and flavor aspect. The display was just so eye catching. And each item was simply gorgeous. I think we took more time to take photos and videos of them than actually eating them. <laughs> we were able to try most of the teas offered, as each order came in a small pot where we can share and try. It was the first time having afternoon tea with not just English tea, but with Taiwanese and Japanese tea, which was a whole new experience. Above all the afternoon teas I've been to, this one tops it all. Every evening from 5 to 6 p.m., Guests are invited to cocktail hour at their first floor lounge, the Jones. 
They offer beverages as well as canapes while you enjoy the ambience. They also offer bakery items, sandwiches, and pizza depending on the time of the day. There's even a box of doggy treats. The Jones is a bar slash cafe where you can enjoy simple breakfast in the morning, sandwiches and coffee throughout the day, and of course, cocktails and canapes in the evening. The canapes are not just beautiful to look at, but also yummy in your tummy. <laughs> Dinner time at the district restaurant was another amazing experience. Everything was delicious and the presentation exceptional. I also really enjoyed all the small wares like the butter container and utensils. Service at this hotel and restaurant are simply amazing. I'd like to recognize Alex, Danilo, Kentaro, and the two waiters during our afternoon tea, as well as the wonderful waitress during our dinner for their unparalleled service and experience. Each room has a tablet where you can read about the hotel and services they provide to amenities you can request. I ended up asking for mouthwash, bath salts, nail clippers, and lip balm, as well as pajamas. Pretty cool, huh? Breakfast was at the terrace of the district restaurant where I enjoyed some amazing dishes. All in all, I think this hotel scores at the top of my list. It's in a good location, the decor is amazing, the rooms are clean and functional, the food is fantastic, and of course, their service is top notch. Thanks again for watching my channel. I highly recommend this hotel if you're in the area. Make sure you say hi to Alex and Danilo. Please help me out and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Stay safe wherever you are and see you in my next video. Ciao for now. Jane.